Learning competency with code. Describe the parts of different kinds of plants. Plants are one of the most essential living organisms on Earth. They are greatly beneficial to both animals and humans. We cannot live without plants. Plants produce oxygen, which is useful for the survival of living organisms. On the other hand, trees provide shelter to animals and are also known for their medicinal benefits, just like aloe vera, lemon balm, lavender, and rosemary. Overall, different parts of plants have different roles to perform. They act as a source of food and oxygen and maintain the ecological balance. Now, let's tackle the different parts of a plant. I'm sure you already have an idea of what they are. First, we have the roots. Roots anchors the plant firmly in the soil. They absorb water and minerals from the soil and store reserve food material. Without roots, plants will die. Why are mountains filled with trees? Do you know the reason? Because trees help prevent flash floods. Their roots can absorb and hold a large amount of water. There are three types of roots. First, we have the top root, carrot, beet, and sweet potato have top roots. Its main root grows big and fleshy, while the small roots branch out. The second one is the fibrous root. Fibrous roots are very thin and they do not have a main root. The third one is the adventitious roots. Adventitious roots grow from different parts of the plant. This is a corn plant. Look closely at the adventitious roots. The roots are growing from the stem. The second part of a plant is the stem. The stem forms the basis of the shoot system and bears leaves fruits, and flowers. It connects the roots to other parts of the plant and transports water and nutrients absorbed by the root. The stem holds and supports the leaves to catch light from the sun. are different types of plants according to their stem. The first one is shrubs. Shrubs have many branches and they grow near to the ground. Their stem is woody and thin and doesn't have main trunk. They are smaller than a tree. Examples of shrubs are cotton plant, rose plant, santan, and of course, the country's national flower, Sampaguita. We also have vines. Plants with stem that crawl on the ground and climb walls are called vines. The stems twist around fences and trees. Examples of these are squash, 
grape, and runner bean. We also have ampalaya as a wine. Next, we have herbs. Herbs have green, soft, and fleshy stems. Some herbs are used as food flavorings. Examples of herbs are parsley, mint, and basil. Next, we have trees. Trees have hard, woody, strong, and thick stems. Examples of these are talisay, molave, kalumpit, and duhat. The main stem of a tree is called a trunk. Smaller stems called branches spread out and hold leaves. The next part of a tree is the leaves. Leaves are the food-making parts of the plant. Leaves have chlorophyll that makes the plant green. Plants breathe through small openings in their leaves. They take in carbon dioxide and give off oxygen that animals and humans need to live. Flowers. Flowers are the most beautiful and colorful part of the plant. That is the reason why they are used as decorations. They add beauty to the environment. Flowers also attract animals like insects and birds. Bees and butterflies feed on flowers. Some flowers have fragrant odors. They are used as essences in perfumes, lotions, and soaps, just like lavender, magnolia, and ilang-ilang. Some flowers are odorless, while others give an unpleasant odor. Gumamela, santan, and bird of paradise are odorless flowers. Fruits develop from some flowers. Fruits contain seeds that develop into a new plant. Fruits are delicious and good for your health. They are rich in vitamins and minerals. What is your favorite fruit? Now, Let's observe the different parts of each plant. The first plant is the Mayana. Does it have roots? Check. How about stem? Check. Leaves? Check. How about flowers? None. How about fruits? None. Next, the next plant is the rose. Does it have roots? Check. Stem? Check. Leaves? Check. Flowers? Check. How about fruits? None. So the rose doesn't have Fruits. Next, we have the chili. Does it have roots? Check. How about stem? Check. Leaves? Check. Flowers? Check. And fruits? Check. So, it contains all the parts of the plant discussed earlier.
Let's have some activities. Happy or sad? Draw a happy face if the statement is true and sad face if it is false. Number one. Plants have different parts and functions. Plants have different parts and functions. Number two. All plants are similar or alike. All plants are similar or alike. Number three. Orchids are examples of flowering plants. Orchids are examples of flowering plants. Number four. The roots of a mango tree are soft and can be bent. The roots of a mango tree are soft and can be bent. Number five. All leaves have the same color, sizes, and shapes. All leaves have the same colors, sizes, and shapes. Number six. Some roots grow up on land. Some roots grow up on land. Number seven, all flowers smell fragrant. All flowers smell fragrant. Number eight, plants make the surrounding clean and beautiful. Plants make the surrounding clean and beautiful. Number nine, Sampaguita plant has a climbing nature but is fairly thick and shrubby. Sampagita plant has a climbing nature but is fairly thick and shrubby. Number 10. Bitter gourd is a growing vine. Bitter gourd is a growing vine. Activity 2. Matching type. Match the plant parts in column B to their functions in column A. Write the letter of your answer. Column A. Number 1. It anchors the plant in the soil. It anchors the plant in the soil. Number 2. It contains the seeds. It contains the seeds. Number 3. It holds the leaves, flowers, and fruits. It holds the leaves, flowers, and fruits. Number 4. The colorful part of the plant. The colorful part of the plant. Number five, the food makers of the plant. The food makers of the plant. Column B. A. Stem. B. Flowers. C. Leaves. D. Fruits and E, roots. Activity 3. What can you see? Observe the different plants that you see in your garden or surrounding. Name and describe them on the spaces provided. I want you to give at least three plants in your surrounding or in your garden.